Well gang, we are back in the shop. It has been a while since I've uploaded a video. There was Christmas, uh, a few other things. I did that autocross, just a tag along video. But uh, we're finally back in the shop, uh, getting back to work on this uh, engine, this Ford Juratac behind me. So let's unveil it, get it, uh, or unveil it, uncover it, get it um, prepped, ready to strip down a little bit further. Um, I need to get that block and that head to the machine shop fairly shortly so that we can do uh, some planing on the surfaces, uh, top and bottom, uh, so that uh, it can start to get put back together. Anyway, let's get going. All right guys, so I've uh, got the timing chain off uh, the front of the engine, sort of all the tensioners, um, drive for the um, oil pump, uh, which is sort of going to become redundant because of our new dry sump system going into the engine, but basically cleared everything off of the front of the engine here. So we are all set now, I think, to uh, start pulling off the intake and exhaust camshafts on the top of the engine here. And uh, then uh, we'll be able to, I think, if everything's all clear, pull the head off. So that'll be the next step here. All right, top of the engine time. So we're taking off the camshafts, camshaft retainers, uh, and then we'll get to the point where we're pulling the cylinder head off. Alright, so, retainers for the camshafts are off. Um, I did take pictures of everything so I know if we ever rebuild this head, uh, what retainers go on to where. Um, and then we should be able to lift these out of here. So we've got, um, obviously that's the intake camshaft. Let's tuck that in our box here with the timing timing stuff and then we've got the exhaust shaft there we go so this is where we're at let's uh, quickly slide this off of here but we have a very clean looking front of the engine which is uh, now timing chainless which is great um, Camshafts, camshaft retainers are off the top of the engine. Uh, we still have the um, followers in there, so we'll pull those out. And, uh, and then we should be all set to lift this head off. So I've uh, broken free uh, all of the head bolts and uh, we'll extract those and then hopefully we'll remove the cylinder head here. So here we go, fingers crossed. All right, so everything's pretty much off that I can see. I'm gonna do a quick scan around, make sure there's nothing silly that I've left attached, and then we'll start to slowly separate uh, the cylinder head here from the uh, block. And I think I got everything here. I'm not going to be too concerned about 
damaging the gasket uh, that is um, sort of in place. Obviously the cylinder head gasket. I've got new gaskets, things like that. So by putting a little bit of a screwdriver in just around the edges, obviously not in, on any of the surfaces, just to make sure there's some distance there. Actually it's coming off quite easily, which is good. And scooch around here. I think if we're lucky. It comes off. There we go. Let's go put this over here. Done. So now let me uh let me show you what's inside of here. Nothing too exciting. So we got the cylinders and pistons here. The uh, engine is a higher mileage engine, so for it to have some carbon buildup, uh, definitely a little bit more carbon buildup on a cylinder, looks like number two there. But overall, not bad. So the surface on the head. Uh, once the pistons out and rods are out and so forth, the surface on the on the sorry, block is going to get skimmed uh, to make it make it nice and smooth, and then I'll do the same on the, the new cylinder head to go on here uh, before putting it all back together. So that is that cylinder head off. So I've got the motor over uh, a little bit over halfway here, and I'm just letting it drain. There was uh, still, like I said, some water in the um, chambers around the cylinders. So I'm just slowly canting it over now to, uh, to get that all out. No big deal, a little bit of a mess there. Try and create minimal mess if possible, but better. not the end of the world to have a little bit of a puddle to clear up. And we'll keep it going here. All right guys, well, while this is still slowly drip, dripping out of here, draining, um, we're gonna start unbolting the uh, sump pan from the bottom of the uh, block here. So that's uh, the next task. And then uh, we should be able to pull the oil pump out and uh, basically start pulling off the uh, con rods, uh, the con rod retainers, um, pistons and that sort of thing out of the bottom of the engine. So it should all come out fairly easily. Start pulling this apart. All right, engine pretty much drained now from the, the top down. Um, and uh, shouldn't be too much oil in here now, if anything. All the retaining bolts for the oil sump are off. So now is the time to start slowly removing the uh, oil sump. And obviously I'm gonna be quite careful not to try and get too much oil anywhere, but uh, sometimes it can't be avoided. Just slow prying around the place. Here should get most of it off, I think, unless I've missed something. I think I got it in here. Yeah, there we go. And you should never put too much pressure on this. It's, um, ca it's a cast aluminum oil sump, so it um, will break if uh, you're too, put too much pressure on it. So hopefully I can get a few spots here to just try and break it free a little bit.
All right, I've got a couple of screwdrivers now. So I'm gonna uh, put one just in here. There's a little space. So I'm just gonna pry that up a little bit. Wedge screwdriver in there. And then over on this side, on this back corner, give it a little wiggle, break it away. I think we should have it there. Get those out. And we have the sump off. All right, with the sump off, thought I'd just uh, bring the camera up so you can see a little closer uh, the bottom of this engine. So these Juratex have a, an internal retainer holding the crankshaft in place. So those bolts, dunk, 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 and so forth, need to come out uh, before we can remove the, uh, the crankshaft as well as the um, con rods and then the pistons subsequently. But first off, we have the uh, oil filter there and oil pump to take out and uh, we'll go from there. But we'll pretty much be having this block stripped right down uh, to just a block today. Uh, I still have the water pump there to take off, but everything else should be off here in, uh, in the next uh, 30 minutes probably. Well guys, uh, this is where we got to. Um, I need a um, Torx female head to get those um, con rods off and I want to do that before I remove the plate that holds the crankshaft. So I, uh, and I don't have that tool so I need to go and pick that tool up, those tools, and uh, then we can continue. But that's it for the day. So we stripped the um, oil pan off. Uh, the obviously the head and uh, basically we just have the block sitting there right now so we're almost there almost ready to take this to the machine shop uh, but another um, afternoon or a couple of hours and we'll be there all right guys well if you like the video and I hope you do uh, and all the other videos that I've put together um, please do follow along hopefully you can give it a thumbs up and I apologize for not uh, vlogging in the last few weeks it's just been a little chaotic with uh, winter Christmas life in general um, and then actually coming up in the next couple of weeks I am going away to Europe so there'll be a little bit of vlogging from there but not too too much anyway we'll try and get this block done uh, before I head off and then uh, we can start putting it back together when I get back. Anyway, thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoy and uh, please subscribe for more to come.